Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Diminish Cap. I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, now that we have obtained the fire element, we're going to be making our way back to the Minish Smith, and that is a Malari, or Mellory. I don't honestly know how to pronounce it, but I go by Malari because it just sounds better. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and talk to him, and as you can tell, it was successful. He was able to reforge the blade, but that isn't the same blade that we know, so wow, that was fast work, but not so fast I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call the new blade the White Sword. <gasps> oh my. So this isn't the full sword that we know of the, you know, the Pakori sword. It's something else. This is a strong sword, much stronger than our grandfather's sword. So we're going to put it away. Goodbye, grandfather's sword. So if we infuse it with the power of the elements, it becomes a sacred blade. And we only have two elements, so we're going to have to obtain the rest to get the full blade in its full potential. So that is awesome. Uh, anyways, now what we want to do is we want to make our way back to Hyrule Field, or rather Hyrule Castle. And we're going to find the sanctuary as he's telling us the door should be open. So we're going to head there over in Hyrule Castle. So that's awesome and all, but I am going to leave you here so you can stop talking. I can't really spam through your text, sadly, but whatever. So yeah, just, I'm going to keep clicking. Let me tell you about the shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find, okay, this is right in front of the entrance of the mines. Yeah, I was going to use that regardless, but he decided to tell me thanks for wishing me good luck, but I'm done here. Actually, I'm not because um, I want to see if I can fuse some kin stones with these guys. So let's actually do that for once. And I believe one of them should do that. So as you can tell, they left their station. You had to like exit and re-enter the area for them to go back to their normal lives and do things. So that's why I did that real quickly. Now we're going to check if any of these guys want to trade. So he doesn't. I was hoping Malari would want to, but apparently not. I believe one of them is willing. I just want to see if I can get myself a nice trade. Oh, this guy does. Okay, sweet. And it's going to give us a lot of rupees. So you want to view his kinstones? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So do we do we do have a piece? All right, sweet. So um, just so you guys know, you collect a lot of the same kinstones. You can have several blue ones with different parts. It's really random how this game works with kinstones. You get them super randomly. Um, and they're easy to get, but some... Maybe a little difficult to get like certain ones and it gets really annoying when that happens But other than that you'll usually have a kinstone for everybody except you know the one or two people that you can't find The ones for <laughs> but yeah at least you know throughout my runs of this game I had that issue But anyways now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a lot of side quests while heading back to Hyrule Castle to the sanctuary so we can power up our sword with the two elements we currently have but this is a shortcut uh, Malari was talking about and we can easily head back up now if we use the cane just like so so it's not bad at all but anyways there's an enemy that just recently appeared and we should go looking for it so I'm gonna quickly run over here uh, I believe I shouldn't be going here actually let's go ahead and head down that set of uh, ladders and I believe the golden tektite should appear here or am I wrong I might be mistaken honestly I need to look for it. Let's go ahead and open up our map and see exactly where it is. Okay, it doesn't really appear on the map necessarily, but I want to find it because it's going to give us a crap ton of rupees, and I'm in the mood for that. So, yeah. I honestly don't know exactly where it was because I wasn't really paying attention. It should maybe be down here, I believe. So let's just go ahead and head down this set of... Uh, rocky things and avoid these tektites <gasps> there it is all right so this guy is gonna take forever to kill i'm being completely honest it's gonna be a little ridiculous we're just gonna have to keep spamming the b button hopefully we can kill him fast enough so just die you golden tech day i want your beautiful rupees so i can get more money there we go he died and a big blue rupee so that is 200 rupees i believe or i guess only 100 it seems because did we have? No, I think we got 150 or something. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. Who cares? Um, but now that we picked up that awesome uh, reward, let's go ahead and continue on here. And uh, yeah. Now, what I want to do before I decide to head straight to Hyrule Castle is I want to make my way up here. And now that we do have this cane, we can head to the secret place right up here and find... Ooh, let me pick this up really quick. Now we have max rupees because with the... Uh, 
big rupee bag we only can hold up to 300 we'll soon get a bigger rupee bag actually in this episode so stay tuned for that a lot of side quests uh a lot of side quests basically opened up after we finished the mine so yeah but um here i was able to have this bridge connect and that's going to be really helpful for me and maybe you you know if you're also doing that but anyways before i make my way to hyrule castle as well there's one more thing i want to grab and i believe it's right up here yes we are going to need our bombs for this so if i can go ahead and take that out look at all those bombs we have yeah this is awesome um, i'm actually really excited for the upcoming side quest we're going to be doing because there's a lot of side quests that will uh be in Castle Town in particular, or rather Hy Hyrule Town, because that's what they call it in this game. But a lot, and I'm excited just to show them off. But here we got ourselves a nice piece of heart. I believe that was our first one to start on a new heart container. Down here, we shouldn't find anything that we can do yet, because we cannot swim. Hint, hint, we will be able to swim real soon, so keep that in mind. But now, let's just go ahead and continue on with the story really quickly before I jump back into side quest, and that is, we're gonna power up our sword with the two elements we currently have, so we're back here. Are you sure I look all right? I never know what to wear in formal occasions. Haha, <laughs> good one, Aslo, but you're just a silly hat. No, it's actually, this is the wrong way. What am I doing? Wait, can I go from here? I don't think I can. I think this is going to take us to where the king is, so let's go back real quickly. It's not here. Um, I want to head to the sanctuary, so do not do what I just did. I really like how you have access to this area. It's so nice exploring the castle. Uh, I just love the whole royalty feel of Zelda. Like, Hyrule Castle is amazing. But this is the area we want to head to, so head upstairs and it will take us to this small garden. And over here, this glowing door is where the sanctuary is. So look, the door, uh, see that doorway glows? So, whatever you said, I screwed that up. Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me. Oh, so it's a secret. Nice. All right, the elemental sanctuary. Okay, so by heading straight up, we shall find the door locks on us. We shall find a pedestal. And as you can see, we have two of those elements that it shows. Only two, though. There are two remaining, so we need four all together. This is a really cool concept to the game, and uh, this is what pretty much Phantom Hour... Uh, not Phantom Hour goes. Uh, four Swords and Four Swords Adventures uh, are based on, and you're going to see in a second, as we drop our white sword into the pedestal, and now these two elements will give us the power to enchant our white sword to a new er, and more sacred sword. Look at that. Now it looks red. It glue purple from the first element, then red, and that's the most recent one, and it's gonna stay like that. So there you go. We power the earth and fire elements uh, that have infused into the blade, and now our white sword is a lot stronger, but look at that. Some weird stone and tablet popped up in front of us. So, hmm, let's see if I can, can't can read that. Wait, let's see if I can't read that for you. Does he mean can? I, I, I don't know, but fill the sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link. We're not going to do it here, though, so I guess we have to. Never mind. <laughs> God dang it. So we have to do it here. Basically, by charging our sword up to the max, we'll be able to walk to another golden tile like this. And that will allow us to create a like hologram in a sense of us. So we split into two with the white sword. And the more elements you get, the more you get. So you, yeah, you end up getting four throughout the end of the game. Whatever, I spoiled it, but it should be obvious by now. And that's the whole four swords comes, uh, concept that I really like. So it's really cool. <laughs> um, I think it's awesome. And the way to leave is by doing that. So yeah, there we go. Running into walls, rolling in to your hologram thing will end up having it disappear. So you'll have to redo that charge up thing. But there we go. We've done it. Not too bad if I do say so myself. We're doing pretty well so far. But now that we have that all done, it's time to take on some side quests, which I'm excited for. So let's get started with that. And the first thing we want to do is actually leave the castle because something pretty big is going to happen right up ahead. Pretty major event. I, I guess you could say that. Actually, it is pretty major. So, look at that. <laughs> Interesting. You are the last person I expected to find here. 
And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Wait, who's he talking about? I'm not I'm not your master, Mr. Vatty. <gasps> Vatty! <laughs> and as always, you're dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should have never created that cape. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants its wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to... The greatest sorcerer alive! You cannot stop me now, and I have to thank you for it. Accept this small gesture for gratitude from me. S wait! Vaddy, wait! Oh no, and we're blocked in! So Vaddy came and comes out, uh... Ezlo had some relations with him. He was kind of his master in some sort of way, creating the cape that made Vaddy a crazy sorcerer, so... Yeah, that's a lot to take, but anyways... That fool Vaddy, what could he be scheming now? Link, I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vaddy and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vaddy was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by wickedness in the heart of men. One day, Vaddy took a hat I made for humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer, he put it on without permission. Aw, oh, look at that baby Vaddy! <laughs> Vaddy, what are you doing there? Oh, what a vile form you've taken! Vile? I'm a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. No one can stop me. Why, Vaddy? What are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be no one who can stop me. Yeah. That dark destruction turned him into a hat! <laughs> Tell me, how did it feel, my sorcerer's curse? There is nothing you can do to break it, Ezlo, or to stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. So Vaddy put on a hat and he became an adult. That's what I got from it. Also, he's evil, but yeah. You know the legends of Chorus, the gift the Pokori gave the humans. What you call the Pokori Blade was once the first of those gifts. The second, well, you can call it Light Forest, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Vaddy were to get it now, it could be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vaddy, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me anytime soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry, and all that has happened been due to my own pride, my folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vaddy. Alright, so that was intense. Now we know the secret behind Ezlo, so we'll link enough fairy tales. We'll just go ahead and search for the next element. Okay, cool! Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so all of that has happened, and uh, that is rather crazy. Um, a lot to take, to say the least. But anyways, now that we have this cool sacred power in our white sword, we can do a lot of cool puzzles with them. And I'm going to go ahead and take on one right now. But yeah, Vaddy is plotting something a lot bigger, and there's a lot that's going to happen in the future. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But... First thing I want to do is I want to make my way down here and uh, act like I want to head over to go ahead and kill this guy. Actually, I don't think I can head here. Yeah, we're blocked throughout here. So we're going to have to head back to uh, 
Hyrule Town and uh, make our way as in we're heading back to Mount Cornell. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because we can pick up a couple of cool stuff with our cane as well as the new ability within our white sword. So yeah, I want to quickly pick up those before I continue on with the side questing we have to do right now. So let's go ahead and take out our cane and avoid that enemy right over there. And I want to head down here. So we've been here before and we couldn't do anything. Um, we only went and picked up a bottle from the far right. But now that we can make a second version of ourselves by splitting our power, we're able to push that giant rock and yeah, voila, just like that we were able to uh, make our way past that area. But anyways, let's go ahead and run down here waiting for this bomb to explode and in here we should find a chest. <gasps> it is a kinstone, yeah! Not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and take out our cane again because I'm most likely going to accidentally click A and waste all my bombs and I don't want to do that necessarily. Also, yeah, so we got moblins around. Those are the enemies we killed earlier. They actually sometimes drop kinstones, so, you know, I'm going to try to kill them when I see them, I guess. Actually, any enemy could randomly drop one. It's kind of random how it works, but if I get the chance to pick up one, that will be awesome. Anyways, oh, I forgot. Okay, we have to explode this area as well. Let's go ahead and push this in so we don't have to take that long path. But, um, in here, we should find a small fairy fountain, so not bad, but I actually have fairies, so never mind. There's really no point for that. I just thought I'd show it off for you guys. Um, but let's see if there's anything else we can do down here. Actually, yeah, this is it. The Western Wood. So this is the way to progress. Eh, what a strange feel. I sense something from the castle's direction, or was it just me? What is going on? Oh no, Vaddy! He's plotting something evil. Hmm, who's there? What? Vaddy? How did you get in here? Cool, you did that whole teleportation thing just to be in front of him. You couldn't have walked, you lazy person. <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> it looks like you're all here. Very well. The King of Hyrule has words for you. You know all of the power the Pokori gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it. Oh wait, that's the king talking. Whoops, I <laughs> couldn't tell. But anyways, I want it. It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. Wait, what? Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the light force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now, search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. What has gone with the king? Hmm, maybe it's just a win. Hope nothing bad has happened. So, it seems that Vadi is taking control of the king of Hyrule and having him plot to send out all of the Hylian guards to look for that light force. So. That is a problem, <laughs> having the Hylian guards turn evil, I guess, in a sense. They're not necessarily evil, but the king is telling them to do something that isn't necessarily good for uh, everybody, because if the Vaddy gets what he wants, we're in trouble, so yeah. Anyways, uh, this is actually going to take us to the next area. Let's go ahead and read the sign. So, uh, Castor wins danger. Uh, don't forget your Pegasus boots. Wait, what? What's, what's a Pegasus boots? That's... A little weird, never heard of that, or have I? <laughs> I actually have from past Zelda games, but yeah, this is a uh, swampy place. This is Castor Winds. It's nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But and there's an element waiting for us somewhere here, so in we go. Come on, Link. So yeah, this is basically the area to the next uh, element, but I'm not going to be heading here now. I'm just going to try to walk through here, and as you can tell, we can't really go anywhere like this. So, hey Link, watch your feet. You're sinking. You're sinking. Wait, I'm on the ground now, so I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, so we can't really do this now. We need some sort of thing that will allow us to run faster within this weird swampy guck. So, we're going to have to figure out what to do there, but... Uh, while we are at it, let's go ahead and make our way back to Castletown. Hopefully we'll find our solution there, maybe? I don't know. Actually, I do, but whatever. Um, and yeah, 
I believe that is where we want to head to next, and I'm most likely going to be doing this in the next episode. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.